Hey folks, Zuski Films here. Today I'm doing a video on how to check and change the oil in your final drive. Now the final drive is located here at the rear of the bike and attaches to the rear wheel. Now Honda recommends that you change the final drive oil every two years, but you may want to inspect it more frequently, especially if you're driving at high speeds for long periods of time. Now don't forget to check out my channel. I have a playlist that's dedicated to the Honda Forza, which includes lots of other how-to videos. And finally, don't forget to check out the description below. It includes details on all of the tools, parts, part numbers that I've used today in this video, along with torque settings and chapter markings in case you want to jump to a specific section in this video. All right, let's get started. All right, the things you'll need are a container for the old oil, a fill bottle and hose, socket wrench, hex H5 bit, a 12 millimeter socket, torque wrench, some 10W30 oil, and some cleanup rags. In this first part, we're gonna check the final drive oil level and then fill if needed. Put the Forza on its center stand, and then we have to remove the final drive cover. We'll do that by removing the three screws using a hex H5 bit. Place a container underneath the final drive to catch any oil. To check the final drive oil, we'll need to remove this bolt using a 12 millimeter socket. Once you remove the bolt, you should see some oil seeping from this hole. And if not, we'll need to add some oil until it does. For this, we'll be using the same oil that's used in the engine, this HP 4M 10W30 oil. There's not a lot of room around the fill hole, so I'm transferring this oil to a smaller container. The fill bolt is just above the check level bolt, also using a 12 millimeter socket. Since there isn't a lot of room here, I'm going to use this rubber tubing to add the oil. Slowly add the oil until you see oil coming from the level hole. Right about here. There's a crush washer that goes with the oil level check bolt. Inspect and replace if needed. Torque this bolt to 13 newton meters. There's also a crush washer with the oil fill bolt. Inspect and replace if needed. Also torque to 13 newton meters. Now in the second part, we're gonna completely drain the final drive and then fill with fresh oil. Before draining out the final drive oil, take it out for a spin for about 15 to 20 minutes to warm up the oil. Put the Forza on its center stand. Place a container underneath the final drive to catch any oil. First, we want to remove the oil fill bolt using a 12 millimeter socket. Now remove the oil drain bolt, also using a 12 millimeter socket. and let all the oil drain out. 
So if you find that this video is useful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I come out with a new video. Here's a comparison of what the old and new oil look like. And go ahead and clean up any excess oil. The oil drain bolt also has a crush washer. Inspect and replace if needed. Torque the oil drain bolt to 13 newton meters. Remove the oil check bolt using a 12 millimeter socket. For this, we'll be using the same oil that's used in the engine, this HP 4M 10W30 oil. There's not a lot of room around the fill hole, so I'm transferring this oil to a smaller container. I'm also going to use this rubber tubing to add the new oil. When changing out the final drive oil, you'll need about 0.28 liters of fresh oil. Add oil until you see it seeping through this level check hole. And that's about it. The oil check bolt has a crush washer. Inspect and replace if needed. And torque to 13 newton meters. The oil fill bowl also has a crush washer, inspect and replace if needed. Torque this bolt to 13 newton meters. Clean up any excess oil and check for leaks. Take the Forza out for a short ride, come back and inspect again for any leaks. And the last thing to do is put the final drive cover back on using the three screws and the hex H5 bit. These three screws should be torqued down to 10 newton meters. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel so you can be the first kid on your block to be notified when I release a new video. Thanks again, and ride safe. Mm -hmm.